Welcome to Film in 5D, the show about everything film with the 5D Mark II. I'm your host, Aaron Hammack. We're back after a long hiatus to show you some cool stuff for your Mark II, assuming of course that you haven't already upgraded the 5D Mark III or something else entirely. You already have those? Yeah. Mark III? Yeah, we talked about those a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. It's old things now. It's all about the mirrorless now, right? Yeah, mirrorless. That's what's up. That's what, that's, we're technically talking about that today, but not that oh. So if you saw my thoughts on the 5D Mark III when it was first announced, you know that I was only actually thrilled about a few of its features. The better codec, better aliasing and more control, and of course, better low light performance. Now it seems that two of the three improvements are available for the Mark II as well, in a sense. Of course you've probably heard what Magic Lantern is doing with raw video, which voids the need for a codec whatsoever, and the aliasing filter from Mosaic Engineering that I first talked about in episode 11. Now, I plan to do some extensive testing with RAW video via Magic Lantern when it comes out of Alpha. And if you know anything about RAW photos, it's that you can get up to two stops of light up or down, thus giving you better low light performance on the Mark II anyway. But today, I will be talking about the anti-aliasing and moray filter from Mosaic Engineering, which I finally got around to purchasing. Now, for most people I talk to who own the Mark II, the only real reason that they'd be willing to fork out three grand for an upgrade to the Mark III is to fix the moray and aliasing issues that are troubling on the Mark II. Well, with this filter, you can effectively remove all the moray and aliasing from your 5D Mark II, and for under 400 bucks. Now, there is one issue I foresee with some of you, and I'll just mention it before we do some testing with this bad boy. If you are constantly switching between photos and videos, say for a wedding or whatever, you should know that you can't actually shoot photos while the filter is in the camera. Of course, it doesn't actually take that long to put the filter in and remove it, but in the heat of a wedding, you may not have the opportunity. Well, how long does it actually take? Let's find out. So now let's take a look at what this filter can do. Now for the hardest part of my day, looking for things that will actually cause aliasing when I want them to. So there you go, but that's it for this week. If you have any questions, you can send them to us via our Twitter page at Filmin 5 d or our Facebook wall at this link here. We'll be back next time with an episode on the DJI Phantom for aerial footage. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Gimbal. You got a gimbal in the ultra smooth video now. A gimbal? Yeah. What does that do? Well, it just, you know, stay below. Watch the episode. I know you don't watch the show, but <laughs> check it out. You'll see it. Okay. Hopefully I'll be one of the first videos up with it, but who knows, I'm pretty lazy. By the time this gets out, I'll probably be already out. Yeah. Sad times.